Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I've got some more Photoshop brushes that I've just finished creating. And these are brushes for creating a look of wet media, sort of like um, like watercolor or uh, ink, that sort of thing. Something that, that's going to feel like wet media into wet paper, where it'll feel like it's been bleeding and, and that sort of thing. Um, uh, they're really cool brushes. They've they've You can get this sense of like a loose watercolor painting or or Asian, you know, calligraphy paintings, that sort of thing. So I thought I would kind of take you through these brushes and show you what I've been doing with them. It's kind of fun and um, I'm really digging them. So I hope you do too. Let's just jump up here. You can see I've got, it's a set of 27 brushes and I'm just going to start right with the first one. There we go. There's number one. And I'm just going to just throw down some lines for you just so you can see what they do. So you can see that this feels, feels like it's, like it, you can get it to bleed a little bit. See, there's so there's that. I'm just going to run through these very quickly. And then what I want to do is I'm going to look at that. See, it feels like it's like wet ink on wet paper. And you can go small with it and get some finer, fine lines. You see that? It's uh, I'm going to go right on down the line. Some of these I've got some texture to them, like so. And look at these; I feel like it's it could almost be a, a kind of a chalky feel too. But what I tried really hard to do on these was to get a sense of texture, like it's going to be like it's being painted over textured paper. You know, watercolor paper tends to have a very strong texture to it. And uh, depending on the paper you use, if you're using uh, uh, cold press paper, then it's, it's very textured. And so that's the kind of look that I was trying to achieve, is trying to get that textured look. Let's see, did I, I, oh, there we go. I did use that one. Trying to get that textured look. This is a neat one. You see how this, I'm getting it to kind of bleed feels like it's bleeding into the texture of the paper. That's that's what I'm trying to do there. There's another one. Let me make that a little bigger. See that? So it feels like it's wet media. You see that? You can even get it to like it's bleeding out a little bit. You know, and so you can you can create what's neat is, you know, you can create these very loose you know, let's, if I was doing like a um, very loose wet into wet little ink sketch, watercolor, landscape, you know, you can get these nice trees and shrubs and bushes. But very, very loose. You see that? It can be very, very interesting kind of stuff. I'm really, I really like these. This is, this kind of art is something that I really enjoy doing. And what's nice about this too is that here's another type of brush see that it's very wet looking um what's nice about this too is that it doesn't my goal here was to have it not feel digital i wanted it to have a very organic kind of look so i spent quite a bit of time getting these once again it's getting these edges making sure these edges feel like they're bleeding into a textured surface See there, like so. And you know, some of them just get really big and get really textured on the outside. So I, I created some little harder, let me blow that up a little bit. Created some harder edges. See there's some hard parts and some softer parts. Just to feel like it's very organic. So that's what I'm trying to do there. Let me jump up to the next one. Here's something where I, the color varies. So if actually, if I were to go really big with this, you can create very washed, you know, something that's multi-colored washes or multi, -val multi multiple values in the washes. See that? So you, and then you could work right over the top of that. It's almost like you sponged it, you know, you sponged it onto the, onto the paper. See 
See these? So they're feeling very, you can get them very, very organic, very brushy kind of feeling. There, see that? Like it's painted right onto wet paper. I'm going to fly through these very quickly. Here's one where I was imagining a very kind of different textured paper and that ink just kind of seeping into the grooves of the texture. And then here's where I, you know, I kind of soften those edges to give it a slightly different look. You see the difference between these two? So these are, they're a lot of fun because like I said, you can really fool the viewer and make these look, you know, if you need to do a, a, an illustration job that needs to have a very kind of traditional organic look to it. Look at that one. Um, then you can do that with these brushes. And it's also great to create kind of a wash in the background. Then you can work over the top. There, see these? And if you kind of work it in an area here, you can get it to bleed out. See that? It's just, like it's just bleeding like it's seeping into the water on the paper. And it has a very, like it, you just dripped ink onto a wet surface. And that works very well for a watercolor look. And these, I wanted to have like a little splatter, like you laid down the line pretty quick. Now, this is something that's really cool. If I draw this, you can see there's little splatters on there. I'm going to increase the size. See the splatters on there. But if I tilt my, my stylus, I've created it so that if you tilt the stylus, you can actually get it to splatter in the direction that, you're, that the stroke is going in. See that? All dependent upon the tilt of the pen. So that's a very cool option on there. And here's another one. Just a little bit bigger. A little more splattery. A little faded out on the edges. You can see... You can see little whoops. You can see little splatters in there within the brush stroke. See that? Trying to get these very organic. And so I also have uh, included in all this. Literally, I have splatter brushes. So here, here it's making some splatters. And once again, if I tilt my pen, I can get it to really to splatter in the direction that I tilt my pen. If I hold my pen straight up and down. I have straight spots, like it's just splattered, like it's uh, coming out of an airbrush with low pressure. But if I tilt the pen, I can get it to splatter out to the edges. So it feels much more organic. You can really create some cool effects like, like this way. Once again, here's another splatter brush. Tilting the pen, here it's straight up and down, and then tilted, look at those splatters. See that? <laughs> it's very cool. I really enjoy creating these. There's some more. Another splatter. Look at that. So you can really make it feel very organic, very kind of abstract if you want, if you decide to go that way. Here's one where it varies up in its value within the within the uh, the brush stroke. So you can get, watch this. You can get this very cool. Say I want to do, let's say I want to do like an explosion. Look at that. And it's very very quickly done with the, the, these splatter brushes. And then once again, I hold the pen, the, the stylus straight up and down. I get straight spots, but if I tilt it, then I get the nice splatters in the direction of the brush stroke. They're very, very interesting. I really enjoy using those because I, I just, it, I'm making a mess without making a mess, <laughs> basically. There, there's another one, see there? Splatter, splatter. It's a lot of fun. It's like playing in the mud. And then one more. It's a little thicker splatter than what we had earlier. But once again, tilt that, tilt that brush, and you get it splattered in the direction, straight up and down. They're just straight spots. Tilt the brush, and you get some nice directional splats. Okay. Now let's try combining some of them. So this is kind of fun. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to grab just some random brushes. That's a little big. It's a little too big. Let me bring that down. There we go. We got some. I just want to 
just play with it. I want to show you how we can come up with some fun shapes. Now watch this. I'm going to jump to the white. Now watch these textures we can create. I'm just going to put white on here. And I'm playing, what I'm doing is I'm playing with these edges, making it feel like it's bleeding out a little differently. See how organic that feels? And it feels, really feels like it's ink, wash, that's been washed across the paper and has bled. I'm going to go back to black again. Let's try up a different brush. Here we go. Oh, that's the, that's the multicolored one. Let's try this one. I'm going to go bigger with it. See the nice edges on there? Once again, I'm going to go back to white. Find some of these different ones. There, look at that. Look how cool that is. It feels very organic, very natural. So, with that being said, look at this one I created earlier. Really feels like this nice, wet, watercolor, textured paper kind of feel. Let's say we want to uh, let's create a little let's create a little ink landscape. Let's try doing that. So I'm gonna let's use this one. Go big. I'm just gonna create just random shapes back here. Create a backdrop. I'm very once again I'm very much a fan of Asian calligraphy and I just love that. So I'm going to push that back. Let's just drop the opacity down. Let's work on top of it. So I'm going to grab, let's grab this brush. Whoops, I made it too big. Let's grab this brush again. There we go. You can just and just draw in little details. I'm going to change up the brush again, just have some fun. Bring that opacity up, bring that size up. Look, it feels like it's bleeding. See the brush, little brush strokes in there. Getting it to feel like we we're dripping wet paint into wet paper. There we go. Now let's, I'm gonna, I can go ahead and draw with this. I can drop the size down. I can make this tree. I'm making this tree here. I'm just gonna very quickly just sketch in you know, what we might be able to do with this and come in, let's grab one of these. I'm just ran, whoops, that's too big. Way too big. There we go. Let's grab this one, see what we get. I still don't like it. Let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. There we go. Go a little bigger with it. Keeping it very, very spontaneous. See that? You can come up with some really fun effects. Looking like looking like an ink painting. Now watch, I grab that white. I can go back into it, paint right over the top with the white again. See what I get here. What happens if we grab some of our splatter brushes? Look at that, over here. Just splatter right over the top. See that? So that's the, the effects you can get, I'm going to create a layer behind it. Look at this. Get that foreground tree to really pop out. See that? So it feels like we've really gotten in there and splattered paint around and worked wet into wet. These brushes are a lot of fun. I've been able to create some really fun images. Let me see if, uh, like here's one. I did a quick sketch of this leopard. 
um, but using these brushes. And if you look, what's fun about this is it feels like it was a very quick little watercolor sketch. And if I blow this up, you can see how the, you know, the, the brush that I use to make the spots is kind of bled. It just, it looks like I worked wet into wet and, and really kind of sketched this thing out very quick, maybe on location at a zoo or something like that. So, um, these are fun brushes. Get in there, have, you know, make some, create some images. Uh, you know, like I said, they, they don't feel, they don't feel digital. They, they look organic. And that's one of the big things I try to achieve when I'm creating digital or Photoshop brushes. I want my imagery to look like it's done in traditional uh, mediums and that sort of thing. So have some fun, go out and, and create some ink calligraphy, wet on wet, wet media paintings. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.